Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Appointed Life Podcast. So today I want to talk to you guys about the purpose of encouragement part two. I believe that as followers of Jesus Christ, it is important for us to know the purpose of something or whatever God has placed in our hands so that we don't misuse it or abuse it. Now, encouragement is one of those things that is often overlooked, but there is much value to be found in it. We see that encouragement is called a gift um, given to us by God as a service to the body of Christ in Romans 12 verses 5 through 8. When Apostle Paul is listing those different gifts that we are many members, but one body, he, he talks about encouragement as being one of those gifts. In verse 8 of Romans 12, it says, if your gift is to encourage others, be encouraging. Now, if we do a little word study on the word encouragement, we'll see that the Greek term translated encouragement or in other translation, exhortation is known as parakaleo. Now the Greek meaning associated with the term parakaleo is plead or comfort, to ask, beg, and it says to plead again, to comfort, encourage, exhort, urge to call and to now the meaning associated with encouragement lends us to recognize that at the heart of encouragement is the desire to restore and build up see encouragement is important to the body of christ it also lends to the idea of persuasion and pushing individuals past what is before them. when we think about jesus assignment on earth there is an element of parakaleo what does the good news do to an individual? What does the gospel of Jesus Christ do to an individual? It calls an individual out of darkness, a pleading to receive life and an invitation into eternity with the Father. Encouragement possesses the power to drastically change the life of the recipient. When someone is encouraged, their whole outlook on life shifts, gaining a new perspective, a new mindset, and a whole new attitude. Encouragement does not only come from words, um, it does not only come from words of others, but it is drawn out of the presence of God. In 1 Samuel 30 verse 6, we see David, David finds himself between a rock and a hard place. His life is being threatened and there was nowhere he could go to for safety but in the presence of God. And while in the presence of God, he was able to encourage himself in the Lord. Sometimes encouragement does not come from words of others or other people around us, but it comes from us being in the presence of God and being able to use the word of God to uplift us. It is the, it is the Holy Spirit speaking through us to encourage us. Encouragement goes a long way. Now, at the heart of every scripture, we see and we find that there is an element of parakaleo. Now, my favorite story um, to recount when it comes to the idea of encouragement is the story of Joshua. In Joshua 1, we find that there are many times where God is encouraging Joshua to be bold and courageous. He understood that Joshua would be a little fearful about the journey ahead. But God reassured him and strengthened him through the words of encouragement. In Joshua 1, 9, God is speaking to Joshua and he says, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened and do not be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. So to anyone that is listening to this video, I encourage you to be strong and courageous. You will have challenges. You will face trials. There will be temptation, but know that you are not alone. The enemy, the devil, he works tirelessly trying to get you to not believe. He works tirelessly for you to believe that God has actually forgotten about you. But I'm here to tell you that that is not the case. God has never left you alone and he is with you. And know that when God speaks, his promises are yes and amen. Listen, be strong and courageous. Just, just as God encouraged Joshua about the journey ahead, I'm here to encourage you. And if this word has encouraged you, go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video with a friend or family member that could use some uplifting. If not this video, any other video on my YouTube channel, just to give them a little burst of encouragement. Once again, thanks for tuning into Appointed Life Podcast, and I pray that you guys have a blessed day.